Hello everybody, today I'm talking about June 2023 planetary news. Uh, it's a complicated month and uh, we have to try to navigate it. Uh, the key factor of the month is uh, that Saturn is about to turn retrograde, so he has slowed down. Venus is also uh, retrograding, but in July, but Venus has also slowed down and Mars is debilitated throughout June. Uh, so let us explore. Hello, I'm Komela Sutton and we are talking June planetary news. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. Also, I want to uh, tell you about my India temple trip. Uh, the uh, theme is the 27 nakshatra temples. Uh, we are going to explore the small temples, the large temples. They are all ancient, full of beautiful energy. And this is very much my uh, expertise. And, uh, you know, I invite you to join and come and explore these temples. Uh, mostly in uh, Tamil Nadu in India, we'll start with Chennai and go through all the different temples and we'll be doing the rituals and the pujas. And uh, it's uh, spiritual as well as fun. Uh, so I'm planning to do a webinar on 2nd of July to introduce you to the trip. It's at 9 a.m. Uh, PST Pacific time. Uh, the link will be below uh, in, uh, and uh, so you can sign up. I hope you uh, at least join the webinar. And uh, if some of you can come to the trip, that would also be lovely. Uh, all the details are on my website, comela.com. So what about June 2023? Uh, you know, it's not the easiest month. And I know some of you complain <laughs> that I'm always giving you bad news. But the problem is I'm not giving you bad news. I'm giving you what it is actually happening. Uh, that is the thing as an astrologer. I don't want to uh, uh, just give you uh, information that is not correct. And I'm only following what the planets are saying. Uh, and uh, sometimes I also give good news, but uh, mostly we are watching what is the complication. So that that is also good news for you. Why? Because you are able to do something about it. You know, you know, this is an unsettled time. You can make your decisions like that and uh, make choices accordingly. Uh, so the main thing this month is that Mars is debilitated throughout this month. And Mars is going to be in Cancer. And at the end of the month, on 30th of uh, June, it is going to go through its Gandanta position. I've made many videos on Gandanta. Uh, I'll put a link, so do watch that. But the debilitation of Mars means that sometimes we are trying to do too many things. We are not focused on one thing, and especially if you're Aries and Scorpio, uh, you know, you 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 can feel directionless. You know, you are avoiding issues or you are moving sideways, not making any decision. But overall, for all of us, you know, uh, Mars being debilitated is uh, our energy is exhausted. <laughs> so we have to do something and be conscious of it. And I would say, use your energy wisely. Use what you are doing, planning everything in a wise and correct way. It is not a dangerous transit or anything. It's just uh, once every two years, Mars will go towards its debilitation. Uh, there is no uh, conjunction or no uh, exact conjunction, although Venus does join Mars, but they don't come together. And check out my Venus video as well. Then the other most important thing is uh, that uh, Saturn turns retrograde uh, in June on 17th of June. So what is happening is that Saturn is now totally slowed down. 
Saturn will turn retrograde on uh, 17th of June at 13 degrees one minute of Aquarius. So if you have any planet and if you have moon placed at that degree specifically, then this is quite stressful. Uh, but if you have planets ascendant at uh, in Aquarius, then this is not the easiest time. I will be making a separate video about Saturn retrograde. So do uh, wait for that and uh, how to deal with it as well. But generally, you know, one of the things I find when Saturn turns retrograde is that a lot of things just slow down. Some things we just cannot get past or if we want to be trying to do things, uh, it, it is uh, just not allowing us to do because Saturn is the planet of karma and he's turning retrograde. He does that every year, but every year, this is like a red flag for you to watch. And especially on the day of the retrograde, but a few days before and few days after because Saturn will slow down, stop, and then move. Also watch my video on it, but 13 degrees is its position, but it's already around 13 degrees and will remain so all of uh, the June and maybe part of July as well. That's why, you know, uh, these retrogrades are more uh, complicated uh, that we have to deal with it and work with it. Then I already made a video about Venus. Uh, Venus is in Cancer, but it has slowed down. It is going to be uh, very slow and uh, you can listen. It's a long video I made, so you can uh, look it up and see what I've made about Venus in Cancer and then Leo. But this month, it's all in Cancer. It is with Mars, but they don't conjoin together. But it is also slowing down. That means it's also not moving very fast and it's getting ready to retrograde in July. And Venus is the least retrograde planet in the sense percentage of time. Uh, so it uh, retrogrades once every two years. It's not a common occurrence. So I would say that these three things, Mars debilitated, Saturn turning retrograde and Venus slow and about to turn retrograde. It's not something that makes us feel uh, very kind of inner positivity because we feel some uh, um, unsettled energy within ourselves. And uh, it is important to understand what these things are and then it will be easier for you to deal with. Now, the very good news is that Jupiter-Rahu conjunction is over, although Jupiter and Rahu are together till 30th of October. Uh, they are not in a uh, clashing conjunction. They are there uh, in the same sign, moving in separate directions. And Jupiter-Rahu is a Guru Chandala Yoga and again, I made a video about that and you can watch for that. Lastly, Mercury, it's in a rush this month. It uh, uh, starts the month in Aries, then it has a 20 day sprint through Taurus and then even shorter sprint through Gemini for about 15 days. So this month, Mercury is in three signs and our mind is uh, going through all these different directions, you know, Aries, uh, Taurus, Gemini. I already made a video about Mercury in uh, Taurus. So after I uh, put this video out, then you'll get the uh, Mercury in Taurus as well. So all in all, uh, June is a month uh, that we are, uh, you know, watching uh, our steps and being aware uh, that some things are not fully functioning and, uh, you know, being especially cautious around the retrograde of Saturn, uh, 17th of June. I think that is the, the bigger story for uh, this month. But the second one is uh, that uh, Mars is in Cancer. So we feel sometimes that we don't have the strength to cope with all these things, but end of the month, Mars goes into Leo and he's all very ready to motor on. So uh, there is, uh, you know, some positive stuff as well uh, that we can anticipate. Uh, but each of these difficult transits well um, executed or, uh, you know, coped with 
uh, makes life a lot easier for us. So thank you very much. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification.